Hello, welcome to SCF Tutorials. My name is Alfia Myers. I'm a reference librarian at State College of Florida Venice campus. This short video is about one of our databases. Today we'll learn what is JSTOR, how to get access to it, how to do basic search, how to do advanced search, how to find citations for your articles, and how to save your work in Workspace. We will start uh, with a Libraries homepage, a CF Libraries homepage. Let's select Databases. That will bring us to this page where all our databases are arranged in alphabetical order. We'll click on J to find JSTOR. And here it is. JSTOR is created in 1995 to help universities and college libraries provide space for increasing amount of published books and journals creating this digital collection. Just today, JSTOR uh, offers more than 12 million academic journal articles, 85,000 books, and 2 million primary source documents in 75 disciplines. Let's start our research. Um, today, I'll do. Uh, I'll try to do my research on fairy tales and feminism. I'll just type fairy tales for now. Um, and uh, in JSTOR, I would recommend you to put your search terms in quotation marks. That way, you will limit your search a little bit because now computer will be looking at those two search terms together. And as you see, um, JSTOR already offers you some options. It's asking you if you want to just search for fairy tales, if you want to uh, search for uh, fairy tales as author, we know in our case it doesn't apply, or maybe you want to um, search uh, fairy tales in a title, those two words in the title, or in publication name. We will just, we stay and just search for fairy tales. Let's click search. And now we're in the search um, results page. We have more than 16,000 16, uh, results. Um, that's a little bit too overwhelming. Although you see uh, beautiful images on the top and you can narrow your search down looking on the left. You see those refined results. Um, you can uh, maybe, maybe you want just journal articles. Um, maybe you just, um, on book chapters, please don't ignore book chapters. Those are electronic book chapters, and very often they work just as well as journal articles for your assignments. Maybe primary source um, content, um, things like that. Publication date, you can mini, uh, you can uh, limit your publication date maybe to do something for ten years. Um, in this case, I want to go to subject because I wanted to do. Um, fairy tales and uh, feminism. So I'll see what um, is um, closest to that in the subject. Okay, we have feminist and women's studies and we have gender studies. Oh, that's uh, actually here's the feminist and women's studies. Here's gender studies. Um, I'll click on feminist and women's studies. Okay, and now I have 328 uh, articles. That's a very good result. Um, so what what next? Uh, so you see your articles, your uh, titles of your articles here. Um, if you click on download PDF, you'll see some information on the top. Sometimes you see a little abstract, but here you just see a lot of information for your citations. Uh, for example, if you want to do citations yourself, you could do it because all information is there on the top. And here's your article. So you can print it out. Uh, you can save it as you want it to. Um, we'll talk, I'll talk about it a little bit later. So this is your article. That's how you download PDF. Um, and let's say you want it uh, to see citations. Click on cite this item. Now we see MLA and APA citations, uh, Chicago style. Uh, in our college, it's mostly MLA or APA. If you're not sure if something is uh, looks off for you, if, if something doesn't look right, which is not 100% accurate in this case, you can always go to homepage, find our citation guides right here, 
and if you're doing a uh, MLA a style so you can find article and database article and just make sure your citation um, is, co uh, is correct um, so that's that's very helpful to have those um, citation cite this item uh, buttons it's it's very helpful for students so um, you can also save for yourself it doesn't matter <clears throat> Uh, let's say you're graduating um, very soon, but you still want to save this article. So you will be able to find this article on JSTOR in different uh, college, on different, um, maybe at work or maybe different um, college. So for that, you will have, um, I'm already logged in here. Um, so I just wanted to show you page. You'll have to register. It's very easy. It's free. You, you can register to any uh, email address you have. So maybe not to be connected to SCF if you're if you're planning to go to a different college. You can just register with your uh, Gmail or your Yahoo account, and um, and you can create your workspace. And I'll show you. So when you uh, when you see article you like. Um, you can just save it and that will be your saved articles um, they will look just like that you can share it if you have a group project it's very uh, convenient you can share with the same article um, um, you can you have citations again um, you can delete it if you don't when you don't need it so that's your workspace for JSTOR um, there's advanced search as well. Uh, I will show you really quick. All the basic search in JSTOR works very, very nicely. You can still do um, advanced search. You do the same uh, key, key, uh, words, fairy tales, and I'll do feminism. And maybe I'll add search box and I'll do Angela Carter. She's one of the writers who uh, writes about uh, who, who uh, writes contemporary fairy tales. And uh, we click search. Submit advanced search. So our result is very close to what we did on basic search, a little bit narrow, a little bit smaller, uh, which is actually excellent. So, and you see already my saved article, which saves me time again, because if I'm, when I do, when I, when you do research, sometimes you forget uh, which article you have and which article you don't have yet. So I find it very helpful. So that's how you do basic and advanced search on JSTOR. And I hope you learn something new and we hope to see you in the library. Goodbye.